Quarantine Cocktails Episode 6. You're looking at the new world order of cocktails and communication in the game right now. And it is just too sweet. And as always, it is for life. Tuesday is for thanking, so I want to thank Alex Renshaw. What an awesome, awesome Quarantine Cocktails video he did. Um, the dramatic reenactment of myself explaining what goes into his cocktail was hands down one of the funniest things I've had throughout this quarantine. So thank you, sir, for the laugh. And I really look forward to Brenda from Minnesota doing her best impression of Ric Flair. So Joanna, come on, man. We got to make that one happen. That sounds awesome. So all about keeping that positivity moving forward. And this one's a little obscure and outside the box, but I wanted to give a nice shout out to Harbor Freights. So I'm a tools guy. I love trying to do some work with my hands now. And a lot of the stuff that I've purchased is through Harbor Freight, so I'm on their mailing list. And I saw that they've seen that there is an extreme shortage in the emergency response systems in hospitals and ERs for things that our first responders are gonna need, like surgical masks and gloves. So they're gonna go ahead and donate all of their supplies or personal protection to first responders, to the hospitals and to the ER. So super, super awesome what Harbor Freight's doing that. Just wanna give a shout out to people doing good. So go on if you need something, if you wanna build a protection for the zombie apocalypse, go on over to Harbor Freight to buy some tools from them. Speaking of that, I don't think there's anyone that deserves a cocktail more than our first responders. While all of us are cooped up at home, we have the options of going to get to go cocktails at some of our favorite restaurants, to go to these beautiful liquor stores that are still open, cranking out booze for us, for drinks that we want to make, and we wouldn't be able to do that without the first responders. So cops, firefighters, EMT workers, the sanitation department, court officers, uh, corrections officers, the MTA who's staying afloat and still running around the trains and the buses. Thank you so much for what you guys are doing. No, no one deserves a cocktail more than you. And I'm going to include some stuff in the verbiage on this video to show you we go ahead and get blessed for that in the city. So stay tuned for that one. So today we're going to do a little twist on a margarita. We're going to keep it fun. We're going to spice it up a little bit. I don't know what Gossi was my favorite guy. The whole bam to spice it up. I'm going to do that without the emerald bam. We're gonna use Partita Silver. Uh, Partita Silver is a fantastic tequila. It is an agave forward tequila. So we're not playing around in the way that we're pressing the agave in the way that we're cooking it. The flavor that we want to come out most is the flavor of that agave. So you're gonna have a really nice, soft, light peppery taste to it. So I really wanna enhance those flavors today by doing something a little more fun. Uh, doing my twist on a margarita and make it spice it up a little bit. So we're gonna do the chili pineapple huracamarana. That's gonna include a little bit of chili powder. It's gonna include habanero bitters um, and pineapple juice. So let's get down to it. So as is the deal with any margarita, we're gonna start off with some triple sec. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of triple sec. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. And then we're gonna go ahead and do two full ounces of pineapple juice. Of course, top that all off with the lovely Partita Silver. I'm gonna do two full ounces of that guy as well. Here's where the spice comes on in. I'm gonna include a little bit of Hellfire Bitters. That's from Bitterman's. It is a Habanero Bitters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three Nice little squirts of this guy, if I can get the thing open. There she is. One, two, three. Again, there's nothing better than that flavor of sweet and spicy. So that's what I'm going ahead and doing this one. So go ahead and add our ice in here. I wash my hands and I'm the one drinking them, so don't judge me for doing this. But before we go ahead and shake, I'm gonna set up our glass here. I got a little bit of fresh agave in this cup. I'm gonna rim the glass with that. Then I'm gonna take it with a little bit of chili powder and I'm gonna put that around the rim. So normally you put some salt, but this is salt and chili powder. So every time you get a sip, you need a little bit more spice on that. Go ahead and throw one of these big old ice cubes in the middle. Fun part, shake. So as I always shake and answer my tips, I think the coolest thing going on in the industry is Danny and Jackie's happy hours. So at six o'clock every night, go ahead and check them out. 11 p.m. as well. 
I'm tipping myself, but go ahead and tip whoever's educating you guys that night. It's super, super fun, and it's going directly to bartenders. So go ahead and check those guys out. Here we go. The lovely. A little habanero up on top on there. The lovely chili pineapple hurricane rana. Cheers, guys. I'm not going to get across that one. So, for you guys that don't know what a hurricane rana is, it is a pro wrestling move in where you jump up, grab someone with your legs, do a backflip, sending them over you as well. So, it's kind of what that just did to my taste buds. Hence the name Chili Pineapple Hurricane Rana. And I promise to do a hurricane rana to these three next gentlemen if they do not answer my call as my nominees. My brothers in agave, Mr. Brent Lamberti, Mr. Torrance Swain, and the absolutely hysterical Brett Ernst. So Brett and I had a really great back and forth on my last video, naming pro wrestling moves as cocktails. It was a lot of fun. Go ahead and check that out. Look forward to seeing what you three guys have lined up for us. So go ahead, show me what you're drinking. Till next time, cheers guys, thanks. Please like and share and continue to donate over at Danny and Jackie's Happy Hours, 6 o'clock and 11 p.m. every day. Cheers. Thank you. What in the world? How can they hold the balance? Oh, you're